Jeff Snow's ex-husband, Tyler Staniland, was called out on seasons 1 and 2 of the Netflix reality show for flirting with his co-stars. Valerine Macon, AFP, Getty Images two years after her dramatic split from selling the OC star Tyler Staniland. Britney Snow is opening up about her ex-husband's seemingly unfaithful behavior on the show. In a new interview on the Call Her Daddy podcast, Snow said she's grateful for all the drama around Staniland's Netflix reality series because it was a neon fucking sign of a red flag. Snow was married to Staniland for two years before the actress announced their separation in 2022. That summer, Staniland revealed on the Reality Life with Kate Casey podcast that his selling the OC co-star Kayla Cardona had twice attempted to kiss him off camera. On top of that, on the first two seasons of the Selling Sunset spin-off, which premiered on Netflix in 2022, major storylines revolved around Staniland's flirty relationships with his C0 stars Alex Hall and Polly Brindle. You went through a very public divorce with your ex, call her daddy host Alex Cooper said to Snow on Wednesday's episode. Your ex-husband went on a reality show and there was a situation with another woman that played out and you had no idea what was happening until it aired for the world. What did you feel when you saw this play out for the world to see? I will preface this with, they've taken up, and I'm collectively calling them all, they, because I don't know any of them except my ex-husband, Snow began. They took up a lot of energy and emotion and time and real estate in my head. And I don't want to give them any more time and energy because then they would win and they would get what they wanted, which was getting my time and energy and attention. I was not aware of a lot of things, and I'll say that, Snow continued. So I will say what people think happened, happened. Snow insisted she had no idea what was going on while selling the OC was being filmed, and was, shocked, when she finally watched the show and learned of Staniland's actions. I did not know what was going on. I think as someone who is so hands-on with my career, I was just completely shocked that I didn't have a handle on reality in that way," she explained. Even so, the pitch-perfect actress says she is trying to move on from the drama. I think that there's also, in my experience with this and how I've processed it, there's a lot of grace that I give myself and also I can own," she said. There's a part of this that don't have a part in. They messed up. But I tried very hard to see it all from every side and release that anger because it doesn't serve me.